So I don't usually do gimbal and firmware update videos for gimbals on this channel unless it's super cool. Though it falls into like the general kind of action camera-ish realm and I use this thing quite a bit in all sorts of my filming stuff, both action and non-action alike. So I'm gonna walk through what this firmware update is because it's a pretty big deal and I'm gonna show you side by side the before and after and let you kind of judge for yourself. Also toggle it to 4K because you'll want that detail to see what these changes are. So let's just simply get right into it. The first of the three features is a new lossless 2X zoom. This allows you to get crispier uh, 2X zoom than you had previously. That previous version is still there though. So in the past, you could simply press in on the little joystick there or use the on-screen controls to zoom in slowly to 2X. Now though, you have a new option at the very bottom there that you tap that little icon in the middle uh, and that will go straight to 2X before you start recording. Once you start recording, you can't tap that option. So let's just simply look at the before and after. The first example here is this desk right there. I've got the previous 2X zoom where you just simply manually zoom them all the way in on the left-hand side, and then I have the new lossless zoom on the right-hand side. It is kind of angle, it's sort of hard to see, but once I crop it in a post-production, the difference is massive, especially if you look at the text there on that drill. You can very clearly make out the word Makita on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side, it's just like me 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 something, right? As you can see in that first example, this is a pretty big deal and gets this camera a lot closer to my ideal like Pocket 4, which is to take like an Air 3, Air 3S kind of camera system and just plunk it on the top of this thing and, and call it done. I just wish I had a really clean zoom there and now I largely do. So let's look at my next example. Uh, this kind of this trainer here. And at first again, you're like, yeah, that looks, I guess, better. It's kind of close. But again, once you do that crop in, you can see the difference, especially around the chain and the cogs just to the right of the chain there. Uh, in that case, it is very, very clear compared to the left, uh, the previous zoom there. Again, a big deal. Now, before we get to the crazy part of this whole thing, one more example. So look at this little Ikea plant right here. And at first you're like, okay, that looks pretty good. But notice the little dots on the, the ceramic piece here, the holes, the imperfections in the casting. Uh, and they are so much clearer on the right-hand side than the left-hand side. And again, once we zoom in uh, to this dust covered fake leaf there. Uh, you can see the dust much more clearly on the right hand side than the left hand side and also the pot down below looks much more clear. But here is the fun part. You can zoom in 2x more times on top of the 2x to a 4x zoom. Of course, once you do so, you're basically back to like the croppage world that you were previously, uh, except the fact that you're now cropped further on top of the lasso. So it gives you flexibility. As a general rule of thumb, I don't tend to crop in uh, my footage on camera. I'd rather do it in post-production, but there are plenty of scenarios where I just simply crop in up front because I know quality isn't like the biggest and most important thing on that shot. Uh, now, there is one catch here. Uh, this is not available in the D-Log mode or the HLG mode. You still have 10-bit mode, that's that's fine, that's what I shot all the stuff in, uh, but you can't do either D-Log or HLG. If you toggle those, it simply turns off that little option at the bottom to do the 2X. Okay, so let's then talk about the other two new features. Uh, the first one is a new breathing correction option. Now, this has nothing to do with your breathing, this is the camera's breathing. And in particular, when you have something that you might hold right in front of the camera like this, uh, and then it basically readjusts the focus to that, sometimes you'll see that like it feels like the screen breathes for a second, goes in and out. There's a new option that you can toggle. By default, it's off when you update the firmware. Uh, that will try to correct for that by correcting the field of view when you tap and change the focus of things that are very near to the camera. It's really hard to see this. You can just barely make this out though in some of these examples. Um, and this is really more ideal for scenarios where you're holding something in front of the camera, quickly removing it, holding in front of the camera, quickly removing it, uh, you know, like demonstrating a product or something like that. Now, the last new feature on this firmware update is the addition of D-Log mode for webcam or streaming uh, coming out of the camera. This, of course, gives you all the flexibility you might want with D-Log footage uh, while concurrently streaming that. Now, I suspect a lot of you probably want to know when I do and don't use this camera compared to other cameras from a very non-sponsored sort of way. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But in terms of updating the firmware, it's super easy. You crack open the DJI MIMO app. Uh, and from there, you connect to your Osmo Pocket 3. It'll then offer the firmware. You download the firmware. Take the whole process. Take 
takes like two minutes. It is very quick and simple, and then you're good to go. As I said before, I haven't really talked about this camera much on the channel. Uh, I just use it a lot. I use it in basically like three core scenarios. One, uh, in trade show scenarios, in interviews, and in, in things like that. That is my go-to camera. I have it paired to the DJI mic, which is down here, uh, and it's using a lab up to me. Uh, and it just works awesome for that. Uh, so like Tour de France, that kind of stuff. This is my core camera, and I supplement my phone uh, for additional B-roll where I need something a little bit higher quality close up. I use it a ton around the studio here for quick shots of like my trainers and things like that, where I just want to quickly like place a camera, then move, place a camera, move, place a camera, like that, that kind of stuff. This is perfect for that. Uh, and I've used it also on some treks, some multi-day treks uh, where I'm out and about is kind of like my main camera uh, as opposed to an action camera, but they do serve different purposes. Uh, in this case, this one is not an action camera. Let's be very clear about that. Uh, it's not waterproof. The SD card is right there, totally unprotected. Um, and it doesn't do super well while you're running. Like the, it just doesn't do well that way. Um, that said, it is super durable. I have dropped this thing multiple times on my bike on the road at high speeds and had it fly across the road in the concrete. You can see some of its war wounds there and there. I just dropped it last week, in fact, doing that again. Um, also from a rain standpoint, I've taken this through multiple day treks uh, in the rain out the entire time and it's still alive. Of course, I did buy the DJI uh, Care Refresh package expecting to kill it a lot sooner and I have yet to kill this thing. Uh, I thought I'd kill this like within a month uh, and here we are over a year later uh, since buying it and have not killed it yet. So this is one of my favorite cameras to use uh, in my daily lineup of things. So when it comes to action scenarios, like having a camera on my body or uh, you know selfie stuff while I'm doing action, I'm using an actual action camera for that. Typically the GoPro Hero 13 Black or the Insta360 Ace Pro 2. Those are my like two main go-tos for action cameras. Uh, and this is more about like other footage stuff. Anyways, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if you found this video interesting and useful, you know what to do, the clickety clicks and all the things, it, it helps out. Have a good one.